Only very few substances are known that show crystalloluminescence. Fortunately, table salt is one of them. A beaker containing 110 grams of table salt without added iodide and fluoride is filled up to the 300 mm mark with distilled water. The salt water mixture is heated with steering to obtain a saturated solution. In the meantime, 100 milliliters of 22 to 24 percent hydrochloric acid are added to another beaker. In the next step, 1.25 grams of copper sulfide pentahydrate is dissolved in 100 milliliters of distilled water. 0.5 ml of the copper sulfide solution is added to the previously measured 100 ml of hydrochloric acid. Now 1.2 grams of silver nitrate is weighed out and also dissolved in 100 ml of distilled water. The saturated table salt solution is now allowed to cool to room temperature. This shows an interesting effect in time lapse. The table salt crystals floating on the solution due to the surface tension move clockwise and anticlockwise. 100 ml of the saturated table salt solution is transferred to a clean beaker, and then 10 ml of the prepared silver nitrate solution is added. Silver chloride immediately precipitates which dissolves when steered with a glass rod. As a final preparation, 20 to 30 milliliters of the table salt silver nitrate solution and the same volume of the hydrochloric acid copper sulfate solution are poured into two beakers with the same volume. The room must be completely darkened for the experiment itself. Then the table salt silver nitrate solution is quickly poured into the beaker containing the hydrochloric acid copper sulfide solution. After 3 to 4 seconds the filled beaker suddenly begins to glow. What you see here are single shots with an exposure time of 5 seconds each. Even after crystalloluminescence has ended, many crystals still precipitate. The crystalloluminescence of table salt is actually extremely weak, but can be enhanced by adding copper and silver ions, as we have done.